predicting the Champions League games uh, in match day match day four I think this is match day five right yeah in match day four I got seven scores out of 16 let's watch let's look at it again uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd just show it off again exact score exact score exact score exact score exact score exact score four in a row there that was mad and there was a seventh one as well exact score and also three results as well so I got 10 out of 16 but seven scores out of 16. I was impressed with myself. I would never do that well again. I would never do that well again, that's for sure. But anyway, uh, this time I'm going to check the tables. I didn't check it before for any of the four match days, I don't think. So I'm going to use the tables to uh, get a better prediction, basically. So, so the tables might influence my prediction. Let's start with AK Athens v Ajax. Uh, let's look at their table then. Um, Group E, uh, Ajax, two points behind Bayern, AK four losses, four L's there, and I think that will continue, I think Ajax will win this game, 2-1 uh, to Ajax, yeah, might have said something for that, to be fair, even, even without the table, I think that would have happened anyway, we'll see what happens though, maybe Athens uh, to do something, uh, Moscow v Pusen, uh, where are they, um, they're one of these groups, yeah, they're both bottom, neither are going through, I don't think, but uh, I think Moscow win this game actually, yeah, I'll go for I'll go for a three one. Three one to CSK Moscow. Bayern v Benfica. Well they are top obviously. And uh, Benfica they need a win to get to have any chance. But to be fair, if Ajax win then they're through, so Benfica might as well they probably might go out to be fair. Um Bayern at home, not playing that well. Having said that, right? In the league, Bayern, Barca, Real Madrid, they're dropping points. Uh, most weeks and uh, having said that they're in Champions League they're still up there in terms of like most points got there's like there's a table of the most points of all teams Barcelona are up there Bayern third Real Madrid fifth even though they're struggling in the league in the Champions League they seem to be doing a bit better uh, to be fair overall so there's that and I think they will win this game um, they won 2-0 in Portugal I'm pretty sure so maybe maybe the same yeah I'll go for the same why not Bayern up not doing that well this season, but uh, I think they'll probably get a win. This is going to be interesting. I remember this. I remember the first game when Leon went to Manchester and won it 1 0. That was a shock result, but since then, they drew three times in a row. Um, unlucky to be fair at times, but still, they drew three times in a row. As for uh, Man City, since they lost, they've won all three, and since then, I'm pretty sure they've overtaken them yet. Yeah, 9 6. 3-2. There's a big game. If City win, they're pretty much... I mean, they're top. Yeah, they're top. If they win, they're top. They're guaranteed top. Um, if Leon win, that's... Again, Leon might finish top because they'll be equal in points. Leon will be winning on head-to-head. -head. Um, if City just don't lose, I think they'll be fine. So... It's interesting. It's interesting. I'll go for... I'll go for... I'll go for City, though. I think... I have a feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling. A 1-0... Just the one, I'm caught, you heard it here first. City to win 1-0 in this game. This intense game will be 1-0 to City. I'm telling you, it will be a nervy game. City will score like 72nd minute. That's an approximate, <laughs> approximate prediction. Uh, anyway, uh, Hoffenheim v Shakhtar, obviously in the same group. Um, mm, there's been a lot of draws. I mean, Leon have drawn three times. Shakhtar have drawn twice. And Hoffenheim have drawn three times. It points towards a draw, kind of, but you never know. Um, you know what? Uh, Hoffenheim. Let's go for Hoffenheim. Let's uh, say they'll win two one. I'm probably going to be wrong to be honest, but you know, it's 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 for fun. I'm not betting. I'm just predicting for fun, basically. So hopefully I get some right at least, but not as well as last time when I got seven scores. That was mad. Just want to mention it again. <laughs> Hello, Harry. By the way. Um, anyway, uh, Real Madrid, Real Madrid, um, Real Madrid, I'm pretty sure are top, yep, nine points, both of them, 
four point Moscow. Obviously, I just predicted their game. Interesting. In Italy as well, Real are struggling. They did lose to Moscow, one day with three games. I'm thinking a Roma win. I'm swaying towards a Roma win. I think they could do it. I, th I think. Ah, uh, shall I go for it? Um, two one Roma. Yeah, two one Roma. Good, gonna go for two one Roma. Juventus v Valencia without a table. I'm just gonna say Juventus win this game. I think they win this. Um, two, yeah, two nil. United to win. United, I think, win this. By the way, I think they win. Yeah, let, nah, I don't know. I was gonna go two two nil again, but I'm not sure about that one. Uh, <laughs> I've gone for two one or two nil quite a lot. I got yeah, two one. 2-1, two, 2-0, one, two, nil, two one. Done that too much already, but um, it is young boys to be fair. I think United can, can get a few goals. Um, yeah, 3-0. Three 3-0 nil. Three nil to United. What is their table like anyway? 9-7. Yeah, yeah, I think United and Juventus. They'll both guarantee themselves through as well if they both win their game. And I think they'll do that on to Wednesday then. I bet it's going to be Monaco. Um, look at that form. Monaco, I don't think it stand a chance. They don't stand a chance in this game. I don't think. Let's go. We'll win this game. Um, I'm gonna go for three, three one. Yeah, three one to uh, Atletico. Locomotive in Galatasaray. Look at that form. <laughs> Not very good, is it? Uh, hmm. Should I think? You know, for some reason, I'm picking draw. I don't know why. But for some reason, how well are Galatasaray doing? How well are they doing? Um, they got four points. Who do they beat? I guess they beat. I guess they beat Locomotive. That's the only team they beat, I guess. Um, yeah, they don't let like going through, do they? I think they'll still win, though. Should I go for something crazy? You know what? I don't know. Two two. Okay. I'm gonna be wrong because look at this. Four losses. Why would it change now? Okay, I'm just thinking like if they can win any game, it would be this game, surely. Well, who else is in their group again? Uh, Schalke and Porto. It's quite an open group to be fair, but um, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 that's gonna be wrong in it. That's gonna be wrong. Definitely gonna be wrong this one. But you know what? Screw it. Let's just leave it there. Borussia Dortmund v Club Brugge. Um, Borussia, I think, win this game. Um, four, four one. Yeah, four one to Borussia. Yeah, four one to Borussia. Where are they in the table? 9-9, nine, nine. yeah. No chance for Monaco or Club Brugge, I don't think they have a chance. Tottenham, Tottenham are struggling obviously. Uh, they need to win this game to stand any chance. And probably need to win it by two goals. Because the head-to-head, head-to-head is a big thing obviously in knockouts. So a two-goal win is something they need. And I think they will go for it. And for sure they'll go for it. Having said that, if they do beat Inter, they have to beat Barcelona away. So they're not going through anyway, are they? I, I just don't see it because Inter will beat PSG, I think, for the last day. Um, but I think Spurs will still believe, and I think they'll still. Uh, I, I don't know because Inter, I think, can easily beat them, but Spurs could do it as well. Spurs have got the got the squad to win big games, but they do win big games sometimes. Um, they've been struggling, but I'm thinking they might win this. I have a feeling they might win this game. I have a feeling about it. Should I go for it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Two ones to Spurs. I think they they probably will. I hope they don't, but but they might. PSV v Barcelona. Barcelona, I think, will win this game. I've gone two 0 again. <laughs> I've gone two one or two 0 way too much. Uh, two uh, Barcelona ten points, obviously. PSV. They don't stand a chance. I don't think PSV do anything at home to Barcelona, to be honest. I just don't see it. And uh, Napoli v Red Star. Um, Napoli, I think, uh, win this game for sure. 3-0. Uh, yeah, 3-0 to Napoli. PSG v Liverpool. Massive game. Liverpool, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Do they need to win this game? I don't think they... They need to win just the one game, right? No, I think, well, well, they can beat Napoli and go through, but I think <laughs> they probably need to get something out of this game. Um, I don't see them beating PSG. Not in Paris. I, I, I just don't see it in Paris. 2-2 um, draw. Going for a draw. 
I think Liverpool are pretty strong, but I don't think they're, they're good enough to beat PSG over there. We'll see, though. I mean, they are good. In, they're good enough to beat PSG, but I mean, like, over in France, it's, 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 it's a different story to Anfield. Am I making sense here? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Napoli, yeah, I said Napoli to win 3 0, which I think they will. Red Star are not that bad, but they're not that good either. Um, but yeah, they did win the Champions League, of course, uh, not too long ago. Anyway, uh, Porto v Schalke, are we at the end already? That was quick. That was very quick. Uh, Porto on 10, Schalke on 8, Porto at home, and I think they will win this game at home, since they are at home, I thought, you know. 3 uh, 2. Why not? Why not just go for something extravagant? So there we go. There are my scores. 3-2 to Porto. 2-2 between PSG and Liverpool. 3-0 to Napoli. 2-0 to Barcelona. 2-1 Tottenham. 4-1 Borussia Dortmund. 2-2 between Lokomotiv Moscow and Calatasaray. 3-1 at Atletico Madrid. 3-0 Man United. 2-0 Juventus. 2-1 Roma. 2-1 Hoffenheim. 1-0 Man City. 2-0 Bayern Munich. 3-1 CSKA Moscow. 2-1 Ajax. And yeah, that's it. That, was, that went way too quick for me. That, that felt really fast. Anyway, this is your boy David. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.